If you lived in a world where everyone had a personal fairy, what kind would you want? <coughs> I'm just gonna say right now, this is not like a very like everything book. It's just like adds to the scene and stuff. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So if you lived in a world where everyone had a personal fairy, what kind would you want? That's supposed to be heater. Um, uh, never getting cold fairy. Basically, a warmth fairy. You never get cold. Haley, can you um, turn it this way so we can see it over here? So a warmth fairy? Yeah, never getting cold, but Did basically you paint is. Did you those? Colored. those? Yeah. Did you Holy. draw it? I just printed out uh, the outline and then. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. impressive. My favorite, a bacon fairy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Duh. oh, yeah. Whenever you have bacon, it's always uh, cooked just how you want it. <laughs> Like taste wise and like crispy and stuff. I don't like it crispy. Well, however you like it. Okay, those are supposed to be sticky hands. Um, they're not very good. But uh, a grip fairy, like whenever, like for sports, it's a sports school that it takes place in most of the time. So whenever you're holding like a football or something, it'll never actually just get knocked out of your hands. You have to actually like let it go. So yeah. <laughs> a sales fairy, a clothes shopping one. Like whenever you're shopping for clothes, it'll always be like 90% off. Like in the beginning of the book, she bought a dress that's supposed to be $200, but the fairy made it so it's only 20. <laughs> I want that fairy. But unfortunately for Charlie, the main character in this book, she gets stuck with parking fairy. Whenever you're in the car, the driver genius. will always find the perfect parking spot. <laughs> that, my friend, is a genius. And, uh, That's gotta that start it best. before you're 16. <laughs> yeah, she can't even drive yet, and she hates cars, so it's not very helpful. <laughs> yeah. So, and tired of being a parking pass, because her parents, like, always make her go in the car on errands and stuff, because they'll find a good parking spot, I guess. Um, <laughs> she tries to figure out how to ditch her fairy. She tries to, by only walking everywhere, to thirst her fairy for two months. Basically, by not letting the fairy do what it's supposed to do. But, um, soon something or someone messes up her plan and she's forced into a car and her fairy got to find her a parking spot. Um, <laughs> did having to use her fairy once undo her two months of walking around everywhere? Was being late to everything of no use now? Read the book to find out if Charlie actually gets a new fairy. And if you got to have a pair of fairy, what kind would you want? House There's cleaning fairy. What? There's house a house cleaning, cleaning fairy? Same. If there was, I would have it. I yeah, there's like a million. Exist. Exist. Well, well, no that. chores. I want a house cleaning Make fairy. Wait, what? Sales what? Sales fairy. Yeah. All yeah. right. Um, Jack, do you have a question for Haley? I was just going to say that I would want yeah. the bacon. The bacon fairy. Yeah, that's yeah. what I would want. That maybe would be my number two. Levi. Oh, I'm going to say the fairy I would want. The doodle hill. The what fairy? The warm fairy. The heater fairy. Perfect. And Audrey. I'm like Miss George. I would, add, I would want a house cleaner fairy as my first one. And then a uh, sales fairy as my second one. I want a sales fairy. Yeah. Sales. You can only have one fairy at a time. All right.